Hello there, it's Crafty Kristen again, and we are entering into a church season that a lot of churches celebrate in honor called Lent. And during Lent, sometimes people will give things up that they enjoy to become more contemplative. Sometimes people will take on a challenge like praying more or volunteering or donating things. There are a lot of different ways that people honor the season of Lent. And it's not exactly one that you'd often lend to craft ideas. However, we are going to make two crafts today that have to do with Lent and have to do with preparing our hearts for this season and remembering what it means that we honor thinking about the life of Jesus and the work that he did while on earth and the greatest thing that he did for us which was dying and coming back to life on Easter. So Lent is a wonderful time to be mindful and thoughtful of those things. And we have two crafts that we're gonna to prepare today that will prepare your students for Lent. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a Lenten box. And so basically this is something that could take a quite a good bit of time. If you've got a whole, maybe a whole lesson that you wanna to dedicate to this craft or an afternoon with your kids, uh, this is something that can be time consuming. Obviously, we're not going to take that much time with it right now, but I'm gonna show you the basics of what it is we're making. Essentially, we're going to decorate a box and inside it, we're going to place ideas for the Lenten season. So you'll need some sort of a container. You can use an old tissue box, an old coffee can, a shoe box. These are things I never throw away because they just make great crafts. I happen to have one of my favorite kinds of containers, which is, a used Swiffer mop box. These are great for crafts too. Anyways, you're going to take your box and you're going to decorate it. So you can do this in, of course, a variety of ways. You can take some pieces of paper and you can cover it with paper. Um, you can use wrapping paper or tissue paper if you like. Maybe you only want to put it on one side of it. Lots, lots of options for decoration, so I'm not going to go too crazy and wild on the decoration, but you can glue or tape these things to your box. And then you're going to want to, of course, label it somehow so you know why there's this random box with things in it. Um, now the label you can stick onto the top or you can put on the side or however you would prefer to do it, of course. Um, now if you want to, you can do this in a couple ways. You can have an easy lift off top or you can make it like a piggy bank and you can cut a slit in the top of it. But we're going to place a label on the top and we're going to mark on this what we're doing with this box. So I'm going to write 40 days, which technically Lent is 40 days if you do not count the Sundays. If you count the Sundays, it's a little bit more than 40 days because it actually lasts from the whole period of Ash Wednesday up until Easter, but that's your fun fact. Uh, 40 days of, we'll call it 40 days of heart preparation, Lent ideas. Now, this is where we get into the second part of the craft. So take your time making things very fun and um, meaningful and do, 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 make your labels, uh, put some stickers on here. If you have stickers, um, you can put some little jewels or gemstones, however, you, however much you do or don't want to decorate it. Now, the next part of this after the decoration is you're going to be coming up with, within your family, you're going to think of some special ideas to make this a meaningful season. And the idea behind the ideas is that you're going to cut these out. You're going to cut out slips of paper and on each slip of paper, you're going to write an idea. Now, these can be all sorts of things. You can work together as a family to come up with some meaningful and important things. So it could be maybe a prayer. 
or maybe a prayer request. Maybe, you, you know, you have, we're going to pray for grandma on this day. Uh, maybe it's something you do like have a family game instead of watching TV. Maybe it's something like taking a meal to a neighbor with your masks and gloves and everything because of COVID, you know, but uh, maybe it's dropping off cookies at a retirement center. Maybe it is all sorts of ideas for service, for reflection, for prayer. You can write Bible verses on here, but you're going to cut out just little strips of paper. Maybe you want to make them in cross shapes. Maybe you want to make them in heart shapes. Get as creative and fun as you want to with that. And then on each slip of paper, you're going to write out an idea. So this is the part that's time consuming because you've got 40 of them at least to do. And so you can sit around a table, come up with stuff. You can pre-print them and cut and paste them if you'd rather do that or you're working with a Sunday school class and you want to go faster. You can just type them and then have the kids cut them out. But you've got all of these ideas that you're coming up with and then you're going to place them in your box or your container. So then what you'll do is each day during Lent, you lift open your container and you'll pull out one of those ideas. And maybe it's, you know, obviously I haven't written on these all, but, um, you know, it might be read a book to my little sister or, um, or maybe it's something more generic like um, pray the Lord's Prayer or whatever it is, you're going to take it out then once you've taken it out so that you don't get the same one over and over and over again, um, you can have a separate pile for the ones that you've taken out, or you can also create for yourself a little pocket on your box, kind of like a little discard pocket, or you can put an envelope on here and you can put all of the used ones in there so you can remember and reflect on what you did throughout the season. And then when you get to the end of the 40 days and of the different things that you have done and reflected on and thought about when you get to at the end of that, maybe you have a special celebration for Easter. So that is Lenten craft number one, your box of ideas. And we'll give you all sorts of suggestions for what some of those ideas could be. And of course, come up with your own as well. Craft number two, is kind of just something to, as we start off the season and go throughout the season, to remember what it is about and to reflect on Lent. So we're just going to make a good old fashioned hanging wall decoration, or you can turn it into a magnet and stick it on your fridge. Now we're going to go with our old standby paper plates. And you're going to decorate the paper plate with some thoughts about what Lent is. So, you know, you can get as creative with this as you like. So we're going to start with ours. We're going to um, we're going to do a little circle. We're going to cut out a circle and we're going to cut out a cross to place on our plate as just a reminder of what this is all about. So we're going to put our circle in the center and then we're going to put our cross over that and then around the edges of our plate we're going to just write some words and Lenten themes so here's my circle obviously it could be more perfect but imperfection is fine as well we're all imperfect people and so we'll have our cross and you could also have this be um, something where maybe instead of a circle you could do a heart or I'm going to actually draw a heart within my circle and then we're going to place tape slash glue my cross here in the center and on it, all right, well, there's imperfection and then there's just flat out, it could be better. There we go, slightly better. I'm going to remind myself of what's going on here with this craft. So I'm going to write, Lent, pre, 
hair parts. Then on the outside of this, by the way, the traditional church color of Lent is usually purple. So if you wanna jazz it up with your purple, go right ahead. And then on the outside of here, we're just going to kind of write some thoughts of what, what is Lent? Why am I practicing this? So you might say, pray. Maybe again, prepare as we're preparing for Christ. Prepare. Maybe some of the other things that we're doing during Lent, like give. Maybe reflect as we reflect on the word of God. Read. So you're going to just be writing down different things that remind yourself, what is this season? Why is this season? What am I doing? What's going on with all this Lenten business? And maybe sacrifice as Christ sacrificed for us. Sometimes we sacrifice things during Lent. Service is another idea. So these are just thoughts of reminding ourselves this is what this season is for and what it is about. You can write, let's see, donate time, money, effort, and of course, the most important thing. So those are just you're writing down ideas around the outside of your plate and reflecting on what Lent means. Remember is another word you could write. Again, lots of choices here. Now, you will attach some sort of a hanger, ribbon, string, pipe cleaner, etc. This way you can hang it maybe in your bathroom mirror. Again, stick it on a magnet and put it on your fridge. Put it up on your wall somewhere. Put it next to a calendar. Somewhere where you'll see it often. Maybe even in your car if you can do that safely. And this is just to remind yourself that this is a season of Lent. A time of thoughtful mindful preparation as we prepare our hearts for Easter and as we think about how and why Jesus came. So Advent, we prepare for Christ. Well, we do that in Lent as well in a slightly different way, maybe a more somber, more reflective way, but it really is a beautiful and wonderful season that we can remember and take part in. So I hope that even if your church does not traditionally do Lent, maybe you think about it this time of year. Um, and and give it a shot. Could be making more of an effort to pray or making more of an effort to read your Bible or doing something for other people. There are many ways that we can serve in honor during this season and at all times too. So make it your own. Just a couple of ideas to get your wheels turning and get the ball rolling. Um, feel free to Comment if you enjoyed this or if you'd like to see something different or something more or if you hated it, you can comment on that too. Um, also like if you did like it. Subscribe if you want to see more. We have new videos coming out every week with message ideas and crafts and the crazy photobombing cat. So we hope that you'll join us again. Have a wonderful week. Make some crafts, make some disciples, and we will see you next time.